The next yeah. one is from Adam Stewart. Uh, subject, more tested Blanchard details. Question for Conan this week. So I was listening to the show, and it was that segment about about it was that segment talking about Tessa withholding the Impact title for a ransom. And I got to ask Conan about this. What's the deal with Impact putting the title on Tessa despite her contract running out so soon afterwards? From an outsider's viewpoint, otherwise known as a Mark, it doesn't make sense to me that they would make her the top guy, um, girl, um, person in the company, even though she wasn't confirmed to be hanging around. Also, Conan, why did Tessa have the actual title belt with her? Considering that Impact hasn't been doing house shows or anything like that, shouldn't the production team be keeping the title belts in the truck? It's a prop, not a legit championship. So to sum up, why was she made champion despite an expiring deal, and why was given personal ownership of the belt? I wanted to I wanted to read this before you guys answered because the last time we discussed this, we read the report that she asked for two hundred fifty grand, right? One hundred fifty. One hundred fifty grand, and it's well. This is the report from Fightful Select afterwards. It says. Uh, Blanchard was let go, blah, blah, blah. Despite any potential issues between Tessa Blanchard and Impact Wrestling when it comes to the return of the Impact World title belt she possesses, Blanchard's side says the title was being sent back. Fightful reports that Blanchard, the former Impact champion, and the company were figuring out things when it comes to the title belt. Blanchard's side disputes the notion that she demanded a large sum of money to return the belt. In addition, it is being claimed that the title was planned for a safe return. So I figured since we discussed the other report, we should discuss that one and report on the other side too so it sounds like she was planning to send it back and the the monetary uh, demand may or may not have been bs then why didn't she send it back before the that match happened good call yeah i don't know but i don't that know it doesn't make I, any I, sense I, yeah it almost feels like to me and i could be wrong like all right she got heat over it people found out now she's sending it back but that should have been sent back before the fucking match as a matter of fact she probably should have defended it but um you know that's their problem but uh, didn't they? Didn't they have to go out and make another belt or something? They did. So what do they want it for now? It's pointless now, right? Let me let me do. So supposedly her and the it was reported that her and Triple H have been having open yeah, communication. Yeah, it says so. advanced negotiations. Yeah, I don't think, bro. And I'm telling you, know, we we discussed this before about her. You know, AEW needs her, but if she has problems in that locker room with the other girls, I mean, you know. Whatever I, I don't know. Like I, I bro, like for, for if you, the get the, the people at the top of your company need to eventually do what's best for business at some point. And if like somebody can help you do good business, you would try to like make it work, you know. And I, I think they try to make not make things work sometimes, you know. So I don't know. Plus, like uh, here's the other thing: we don't know if TNA, you know, tried to pressure into something she didn't want to do. So she said, "Fuck it, I'm not sending the belt back." Who knows what happened, but something happened for her after she was put over Brian Cage and all, Sammy, Sammy Callahan yeah. and all these other people. And they first woman ever to have the belt. Something happened for her not to want to come back one last time and lose the belt. So who knows what happened? Yeah. 